have hull number two and we tried a little something different with this one. We took some Dacron cloth and we taped the chines and epoxied them and then fared them with some thickened epoxy. We used, uh, we used micro balloons uh, from Jamestown distributors and the epoxy was from Jamestown. The hull is all set. It's painted blue. Prior to that, we cut the slot in it for the centerboard trunk so that can go together quickly. Here it is cut off the strong back with the uh, legs, uh, this, the um, frame still sticking above the shine there. It's, I have to cut those off with a uh, saw, hand saw probably. And then I can take the router, run that around the outside of the boat and, and uh, use a linoleum uh, cutter to uh, type, uh, type blade to cut that off. Nice and flush. Here's the centerboard trunk all set to go. It's a simple box which is made up of 15 inch by 12 inch rectangular pieces of plywood. We used some MDO for this one that was uh, left over from another boat product project. Painted it up first on the inside so it's all set to go. Here we are dry fitting it just to make sure that uh, the bottom matches up with the curve of the boat. There's a bit of a curve in the hull so you'll have to we took a belt sander and uh, rounded it off a little bit so it would fit down in there nice and flush. And then pre-drilled pre the holes in the bottom of the boat so it was all set to go. And here's what it looks like, our drill, our screw pattern. And we screwed that together. And we'll flip the boat back over and this is what it looks like after it's caulked in. Should be all set. And it's ready to paint gray inside so we're gonna paint the inside of the hull gray and then get ready to add a thwart and work on the, some of the other parts that we need to install.